Um, I actually first got into hockey probably when I was about uh, three, four years old. Um, my older brother actually played, so I always wanted to. Uh, I always wanted to get out there as soon as I could, and you know, just uh, just pretty much wanted to be like him. My parents, my dad, he didn't play hockey at all. Um, it was actually uh, my cousin uh, in the family. Um, he just kind of up and started, and he's a little bit older than my brother and myself. And uh, so my brother started, and I guess ever since then, uh, the uh, seed's been planted. In high school, Jeff played on a team rich in hockey tradition, but better known for their nickname. We're the Moorhead Spuds, and uh, you know, I think I don't know exactly when it originated. It had to have been, you know, 50, 60, 70 years ago, you know, whatever it was. But uh, we were known for uh, growing potatoes, and uh, so the <laughs> the uh, <laughs> the nickname stuck. Jeff credits a lot of his early success on the ice to his dad. He wasn't, you know, um, he wasn't very knowledgeable at hockey at first. You know, but the one thing that he always said to me. Um, was to keep my feet moving. And that's something that, for me, in order for me to be successful, that's one thing that I have to do. The former Spud went on to play Division I college hockey at Rensselaer, where he excelled both on the ice and in the classroom. At school there, we were stressed um, on a semester basis, just you're a student athlete, student first, athlete next. And um, our coach actually ingrained it in us with some harsh rules that uh, we had to go to class. If we missed class or whatever, we would uh, have to pay the price. Um, you know, school wasn't easy. Jeff has never taken the easy road, and his major at Rensselaer was definitely no cakewalk either. Mechanical engineering actually runs in the family a little bit, so I've always kind of wanted to pursue that. Um, and obviously choosing schools, I had a few other schools that were interested in me, but they didn't exactly offer what I wanted to uh, pursue as far as academically. Jeff never missed a single game in his four years while playing on the college level, but he did miss his name being called by the Preds on draft day. I was actually out on my boat. I didn't have my cell phone with me. I wasn't really thinking too much about it because I had only talked to Nashville, and that's it. And they said that there was a possibility. So um, I got back from my little boat ride, and um, my mom said my phone had been ringing. My dad's like, well, it's draft day. So sure enough, I got on the phone, and I chatted with uh, Dave Westby first. Um, he's one of the scouts here for Nashville, and uh, I had been selected sixth round, 166th pick. So it was a fun day, exciting day. <laughs> 